Here. Hmm. Hello and welcome to Len Party in the Catacombs. Turn down the headphones real quick. Yeah, you are listening to my ears. <laughs> Lake Effect Radio. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm Mike. I'm Goat. I'm Cheyenne. And we're here to talk about random stuff. Yes. And go on a journey together, I guess. I don't yeah. know. I have a You know what I saw yesterday? What did you see yesterday? I saw the new Sanic movie. Oh, nice. It was uh it was actually pretty good. I was surprised. I was expecting a dumpster fire, but I I received a nice dumpster. <laughs> a pleasant to look at one and clean too. <laughs> it was like the, you know, what like Zoidberg's like dream house. Pretty much. <laughs> like <laughs> Like okay, so- Sonic was okay. He was he was he was a decent. I'm glad they did the redesign. Thank God. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was actually had a good a decent plot and lore, but the it really what really sold it was Jim Carrey. Jim he sold it. He played the most self centered, egotistical twat I've ever seen, and it was wonderful. <laughs> that was. <laughs> That might have been a little borderline there, close to something else. Twat? <laughs> <laughs> what? If you put a an uh, ah sound in that, you know. We're making it worse by don't, elaborating. <laughs> don't, uh, yeah. Wait, okay. what? What are you talking about? We'll tell you later. <laughs> Twat. No, don't. <laughs> stop. People have called other people that before. Well, yeah. And it should probably be on the wall. <laughs> Why? Or well, well, we'll explain in a second. So, okay, would there, it be there was better a song that, that you yes, wanted to listen to. Um, recently, Ozzy Osbourne canceled his tour dates, and we were talking about that last time I was here on the show. Oh. Um, we were talking about Ozzy Osbourne. Um, it's pretty sad. He's been diagnosed with Parkinson's, and so he's too sick to continue touring. And. Um, Recently, Elton John's been having a lot of issues as well, and together they collaborated and made um, a song called Ordinary Man, which is like this goodbye song, and it's pretty sad, and it's beautiful, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Yep, and here it is, Ozzy Osbourne and Elton John, Ordinary Man. Ooh.
and we're back. It was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Want to tell us about the journey? Sad but wonderful. Yes, tell us about your journey <laughs> in particular. Sadly, we were talking about too many things, and we were um, talking, and all I can remember now is Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the journey you were supposed to go on. <laughs> Honestly, if I can remember what I remembered, I mean, it was that I felt like I was in a comedy gig, and, the, and I had a band going up there. And I was relaxing with a cool drink. The piano man. Yeah. Piano, piano man. man. That kind of atmosphere. Yeah. And then, you know, Thomas the Tank Engine can also certainly kinda, take you places. He just kind of crashed I through mean, the wall. Yeah. Thomas the Tank Engine <laughs> is a method of transportation. Yes. Yes. Albeit a sentient one. How, how, how would you like to take a sentient method of transportation? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> These are the questions we're asking we right need, now. That would be terrifying, need, honestly. I don't need sleep. I need answers. That's what I, that's what I need to know. I mean, like, so if you're a paladin <laughs> in D&D, you have one of those. And I mean, mm. like, a horse is almost sentient. Almost. Oh. And then you've got, like, you know... Well, if you're pals with a dragon... Yeah, you just fly on the dragon. That's a sentient mode of transportation. There you go. Does it change if that mode of transportation has pistons <laughs> and wheels? <laughs> <laughs> and could possibly crawl out as a centipede? Honestly, they make... <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that image too. That many nightmares. <laughs> you know the mod for Skyrim? I need that. <laughs> I, I need that. I, I need that. Do you know the mod for Skyrim? I haven't <gasps> seen it. Okay, okay. okay. There, there's one for Breath of the Wild, too. There is? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, so <laughs> you know how there's dragons in Skyrim. Yes. Replace that with Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> and it plays the theme song, and he flies. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, I need to see video footage of this later. Like, you, we haven't seen it. No, I have oh. not seen the video. I've heard of it. I've not seen the video. I, I didn't know it played the theme, too. They, like, it does. That makes it, like, 20 times funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not just Thomas flying through the uh, air as a dragon. The great thing about it is you can do it anywhere. You can have the, the voice, <laughs> and you can summon the dragon, but it's Thomas. But it comes with its own, like, audio. It does. <laughs> it's great. Oh, my God. To be fair, you can replace the dragon with a multitude of things, but that's the most popular. Why would you replace it with anything else? <laughs> what more do you need than a giant flying Thomas in the sky who plays this theme song? We've already reached perfection. How <laughs> higher can we go? The answer is none. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I think, like, next Gamers Guild meeting, we're adding this to the lore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I... Here's the thing I did with my dad recently, and that he thinks that there is no good music made anymore. Well, that's simply not true. You said to... Oh, I know. I played along with it, and I was like, yeah. hey, dad, how about I go on Spotify and I look at the new releases? And hey, we'll just go, we'll just go through the newest stuff. But you, like, cherry-picked the newest stuff. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Most of it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> but we did find some good things. Let me, let me share with some couple. At least one of those songs that I, th I thought was decent. Um, okay, look up Revival by Gregory Porter. You told your phone to do that, you tell me to do that. I'm telling you to do that. All right, we'll play a song for you. <laughs> this uh, is, this is my request. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. Wow. So um didn't know that. Now now uh, we've got goat sharing some stuff with yes. with you know. How mind you I only listen co hosts. I've only listened to this once. Yes. I can't remember how it goes. And now you're gonna use you, you liked it. I just liked it. And yeah. my dad liked it. And if he likes it and that's something special, <laughs> at least to me. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see, this is Revival by Gregory Porter. Parts of Los Angeles were in flames. Neighborhoods erupted with anger after four white LA police officers were acquitted of assaulting motorists. Five days, 63 people dead, and a and a mm -hmm. 
I try to run I grow weary I try to walk And I grow faint I tried to find you, lost my way, walked in the darkness in search of day. Welcome back. Yeah. That was... Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So new new music out and there? And it popped up right on like the uh, suggested new releases it on took Spotify. Me a, it took me a while to find it, though. That was the thing. You had to listen to like a lot of things. Lot it's of still th- there. It's still there. Yes. It's timing in the rough, but it's good. I mean, like, is it... There's usually more rough. <laughs> like you usually search a lot. I, I find how that's how I feel. I mean, yeah. But like yeah. A lot of there it was auto tuned. Not no, mm-hmm, no, <laughs> not good. <laughs> <laughs> how much? Uh, how much clicking was there? I had to go at least five songs in to even find this, or like maybe six. How how much clickety clickety click did you get though? <laughs> Actually, we made it more, more like 10, but we were just sitting in the car, play it, and they're like, mm, no, not good. And then click the next one. Oh, okay. So you didn't have to, like, spend half an hour. We would be, would be, we would crave death. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> also, All right. You want to know how, what else I learned in the new releases? Apparently, Justin Bieber still making small songs. Well, and it's, of, it's, of, it's not of, good. Of course he it's, is. It's not good. That's his career. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> but it popped up. It's like, no, no. I, I just try to forget, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for reopening that wound. <laughs> <laughs> so what's on the order of business? What's going on? Well, 
So, I'll mention this here. Yes. Now, if you were able to arrive earlier, mm -hmm. you probably could have set up a little bit of Jackson Hole for the folks at home. Jackson Hole. Is that we should shoot for next week. We're going to bring some Jackson Hole <laughs> back. We're going to get a bunch of red trucks. Dude, red <laughs> trucks. A <laughs> red truck. <laughs> Jackson Hole, Wyoming is my favorite place to be. I'm going to take a vacation you, there one time. Your favorite place to digitally be and then you're actually going to go there one day. <laughs> I wanna go, I'm going to go there one day. You just wait. I'm you're going to like do something for the camera. I'm going to stand in front. I'm going to have you guys, hey, click this link. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be standing there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! It's Goat at Jackson Hole. <laughs> You're gonna like angrily point at all the red trucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have people think I'm crazy, saying, <laughs> screaming, "Red truck, red truck!" As well, I'm... No, I mean, everybody on the internet who knows about it, who's actually watching Jackson Hole at the moment, will be like, "Oh, look, that guy knows." <laughs> <laughs> should I just hold? He's a... aware. Should I just hold a sign with a giant printout of a red truck? With an arrow pointed at the end of it. Yes. And just like whenever a red truck, I'll aim it right towards the camera so the way it looks like it's pointing right at the red truck. Or you're just a constant red truck with your sign. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the red truck guy. <laughs> People are going to think I'm homeless over there like crazy. Like, what is this madman doing? <laughs> well, the internet's going to be like, ah, a ah, red truck. <laughs> quality meme. Well, I'm sure like, at least. Mo at least a good portion of the people that live at Jackson Hole, Wyoming, know of the meme. Some of them must know. Yeah. <laughs> they must be aware of red truck. And if one of them has a red truck, they better be drive careful. Maybe, like, <laughs> a lot of the trucks that people buy in Jackson Hole, they're like, we're going to make sure this truck is red. Just for the internet. <laughs> I wonder if the people, the car dealerships are, like, sold out of red trucks over there. <laughs> you know? They're just it's selling like hotcakes. I mean, if I was at Jackson Hole, and I were going to buy a truck... <laughs> So there's no other color. There's no other color. <laughs> it's got to be red. <laughs> I'm going to live up to it. And then, like, every time I go somewhere, i got to make sure to drive through the square. I wonder if you took, stati you know. if you took statistics of when it started, that the live stream started, and when it ended, or just or up to current. Is there, like, sales data on, like, red trucks in like, Jackson Hole? Like, you count how many red trucks. Areas. Like, has the population of red trucks gone up or down? These are the real-life questions here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting into in-depth with this. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Currently, there are 166 people watching Jackson Hole. I don't see a red truck. Blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I see a red car. It doesn't count. I'm sorry. It's not a truck. It's not a truck. Oh, that's actually that's orange. What if it's like a red El Camino? What then? What's an El Camino? Okay, so that's like a. Like a it's, short it's, truck? It's like it's an it's a old Chevy that like was on a car body but had a truck bed. Oh, I'd say that counts, so long as it has a truck bed. <laughs> Red truck. What about an SUV? Doesn't count. <laughs> okay. Not even like a big one? Like If it, ha if it has a truck bed, it's a truck. Ah. Uh, to the people on the internet, at least. <laughs> or if it's like a, you know, a semi-truck or like a, you know, some kind of work vehicle, I guess, right? I guess, yeah. A couple people carrying snowboards. Oh, well, I mean, like, I'm right, sure sorry. that's a nice place to <laughs> snowboard Jackson Hole, Wyoming, it's right? Very, it's very snowy over there. There's mountains nearby. Probably some, like, nice, you know, ski resorts. And I don't know. I don't <laughs> really know, but I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So where did they come up with, like, a name like that? Jackson Hole? Jackson Hole. You may type up the etymology of Jackson Hole? Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's get the history of Jackson Hole. Oh, hell <laughs> yeah. Do hell, this right now. hell yeah. And, you know, next week, as long as, like, you know, we get the <laughs> Jackson Hole expert here on time, uh, we get to put the stream out to the, you know, people watching from the internet. If you're just, like, listening in the station, you're probably not going to see anything still. Jackson, Jackson Hole originally. Look in the window next week, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jackson Hole, originally called Jackson's Hole by the Mountain Men. Is a valley between the Teton Mountain Range and the Gross, probably mispronouncing these, Venture Range in Idaho, sitting near the border of Wyoming. The term hole was used by early trappers or mountain men as a term for a large mountain valley. Ah, well, there you go. But it's a large the, mountain valley. The more you know. And I'm guessing Jackson was the founder. Wow. It, it's Jackson's hole. It's his. 
And then there Is was like, you know, <laughs> Jackson's Large Mountain Valley. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, don't, no. Don't talk about Jackson's Hole like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mispronouncing that either. That was the original ter- name. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm calling it Jackson's Hole now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So there's a lot of red trucks in Jackson's Hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's that one special kind of red truck. He needs a doctor. You know, it starts with F. <gasps> Are you talking about a fire truck? Yes. <laughs> Is that a truck? You know, because it also ends in uck. Yeah, there That's we go. That's true. We could say that. It, it. <laughs> Jackson, okay, yes. This, it Fire truck. <laughs> Fire truck. Of course. What else would it be? It's Nothing compl- we could say here. It's a completely normal thing. What are you talking about, Mike? There's no hidden agenda in this. Nope, it's just Fire truck. Fire truck. I mean, they must have one. They must. They probably have a couple. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's just like Lord Farquaad. It's a completely normal name. <laughs> Everyone knows Shrek. Yeah, Lord Farquaad. <laughs> we can say that here. It's a normal name. Yeah, though no, it's Farquaad. So yes. Yeah, Farquaad. <laughs> say it fast. No. <laughs> say it with me now. Yeah, we're going to say it at regular speed. Cause oh. this is, <laughs> but, uh, say, okay, oh say far gosh. quad. Yes, that's fine. Far quad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm getting too go. deep into this. You're getting too deep. <laughs> <laughs> too deep into Jackson's hole. I'm... Wi- <laughs> <laughs> that fall- is a place. I fall- it's a place. I've fallen in the Jackson's hole. A, a place, a town. A, you know. <laughs> yeah. A town. It's, it's a mythical place. The only entrance is through Jackson's hole. There's a whole city there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got, you got, you got anything, any topics? It's anything? <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> I can't think of We're sorry we broke you. <laughs> <laughs> I just, oh, I was uh, not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I'm sure that Goat was. I was, yeah. yeah he, he, He's like, I set it up. He's used to it. <laughs> 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 All right, well. I think we both set it up because I was already preparing for it. And you're like, I'm going to set this up anyway. It's like, oh, it's going to happen. But yeah, there yeah, it goes. Yeah. All right. So we, we'll actually step for a commercial now. <gasps> commercial break? Oh, wait a Commercials, minute. Commercials. Yes. Hold on. Wait. Before we do that, we must pay tribute to the ShamWow gods. Oh, no. <laughs> ShamWow. <laughs> ShamWow. How about the slap chop? Sam. Chop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've paid tribute. Yeah, the, the slap chop and the famous line from that commercial, which I actually won't recite now, even though we probably could. It's probably, we've probably gone a little too far to say it now. <laughs> so, you know, but you're going to love something. You're going to whisper in my ear. <laughs> oh, right, I got to... Commercial time. <laughs> Don't disappoint the, the slam The commercial wow. was unprepared. Eh, we're here. It's fine. The commercials are coming. We promise. Are they here? They'll be here soon. Soon, da da. They're 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 taking an engine over here, a Thomas the Tank engine. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. They're on the rails. All right, here we go. <laughs> Jonathan is a student who depends on his Cardinal Visa credit card. This is uh my Visa card. I got it from Cardinal Credit Union with Houston's help. Cardinal Loan Manager Justice Adama Vicious. There's no annual cost. There's no maintenance fees. There's no balance transfer fee. I went to other banks and they didn't look at me the way he did and give me a chance. He asked me what I'm doing in life, what I'm going to school for. We are helping people, not judging them. Cardinal Credit Union, everything to brighten your financial future. Just call Cardinal at 440-266-2200. Stop in a branch or apply online at cardinalcu.com. Cardinal President Christine Blake. Listening to your story, saving you money, 
anyone can join. Cardinal, people helping people. Cardinal is open to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Lake Cuyahoga, Geauga, Ashtabula, Portage, Summit, Mahoning, Trumbull, or Columbiana counties. This institution is not federally insured. Deposits are insured by American Share Insurance up to $250,000 per account. Loans subject to credit approval. Uh, yes. We pay tribute. Welcome back. Now we pay tribute, and now. Yes. We? Well, thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to our sponsors. Yes, we played their commercial. Cardinal is a place. It's right here. It's you know. It's in over the school. Yeah, the bookstore it's, hallway. It's in the eyesight, even. No, not even from this point, but. Yes. And it, you know, good service. Credit card service. Is it credit card or is it debit? It's a. I think they it's have a both. credit union, so it's like oh, it's a okay. bank. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Easy and convenient for any like the yes, students. Is. All right, so now back to. No, <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go with some I other kind of meme right now. Oh no! no. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. All right, I'll I'll, 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 th I'll take a step back. We tried to take this seriously. Or I did. Did we? I'm taking a step back. I did. I attempted. <laughs> I'm taking a step back. All right, so I'm back. Yeah, you just like take a step back, but then bring the mic forward. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it all evens out. You've told me this. There's balance once again in the universe. Yes. The force is perhaps with us. The force is within us, and also in Jackson's hole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, carry on. Is Jackson's hole okay? No. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the what's the doctor's term? Like, gynecologist? No, no, <laughs> no. Too far. <laughs> too far. Too far. Okay. <laughs> no, no. It's a valley. <laughs> I mean, what would a doctor it's, do in a valley? It's a town in Wyoming. <laughs> what would a doctor do in a in a valley? Treat treat patients that live there. I see. Yes. Very simply. No hidden agenda. Who is this? We appear to have an extra guest. Hello. Hello. Do you know Hello. Where, do you know where Jeremiah is? Oh, um. He's in Jackson's hole. If he's not at the bake sale, I don't know. You can't bake sale. All right. Oh, this is the, uh, we do have a, uh, come in. Hello. 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 All right, so we got some mics over here. Oh, did you want to join? Well, or they're they're with a the class, yeah. <gasps> so um, oh, I'm with the class. Yeah. So uh, you want to sit over here? Let, let him in. You know. Okay. Let, let him or let us. Right. Let let us. Mind yeah, the go cord. On. Go for it. <laughs> I've got yeah mics four and five have been turned on for you guys. Look how professional we are here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Whoa. I'm gonna close the door. We could like crack it probably, but yeah. I'll keep it cracked. Cool. Crack. It's cracked. Like a nut. Walnut. Like a walnut. Yep. Welcome to this wonderful show, by the way. Oh, did you turn on their mics? Yes. Okay, uh, good. Four and five are on. I think those should be. Those are yeah, the ones? Those yes. are four and five. Welcome. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Yes. Yes. Welcome to. Land party in the catacombs. This is a very random show, and we play music from time to time. Yes, best kind of show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, how is everybody's day going? So far, so good. Just came to spend some time with you guys. Awesome. Yep. I heard you're in a class of some kind. Yeah, vocalization and diction with Mark Williams. Ooh, I can tell you, you got a good radio voice right there. Oh, thank you. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, very good. Yes, and it is, you know, one of our tasks to facilitate this. Yes. Yes. But it's fun. Now, have, have, have both of you either heard of Jackson Hole, Wyoming? Can't say I have, no. <gasps> they don't know. They don't know about the red trucks. The red trucks. Should we have, <laughs> should we have headphones on? Oh, yes, actually. It's not required, but it is recommended. <laughs> it's highly recommended. And, well, for his first class, he's just going to need them. Yeah. Because that's part of the thing. Yes. And then, well, hold on. Um, What's up? One of those is not actually connected properly.
it's all good because one of them's for like a sound check on the other end. Is but like, on? yeah, is it? Are you not getting uh, that's multiple, our mics on. through it? Okay. Tap your mic. Because the the other one that's They're like next on. to the all one right. that you got was uh. That's the thing. You got to be kind of close to it, like yeah, this. Yeah, like a four fingers, like that. You know. Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, about this distance. I guess I kind of like naturally <laughs> like go there now. Maybe like a little close, but it's not too close. Not really. Mm. It's not like when, when a certain uh, advisor here eats the mic. <laughs> <laughs> now, do either of you play oh, video I would check games? The, uh, all the time. <gasps> I do. What kind of video games? Ma- mainly like first-person shooters or RPGs. Ooh. Personal favorite is Skyrim. Always ready. <gasps> Wait. Oh, we were talking about that earlier. We, we were, were talking, talking about, about a very specific Skyrim mod. Do you, can you guess what we're talking about? It involves the color blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of broad, isn't it? Well, oh, not too broad for this one, but I mean, I mean, if we use broad for like you know size, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's kind blue, of broad. and there are replacement dragons. No, <laughs> oh, now he knows. <laughs> no, now I'm sure he knows. Get down, do you know it? Thomas the Trainer. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> The best part is he's th- the theme song plays in the background as he zo- <laughs> flies over the horizon. So somebody like closed the Twitch with the. Um, Are we not live on internet? No, we're we're on, but like they closed the page where we see like the chat. Okay, we're on to... right now. Because this is not the right one. Hmm. So it's one of these like in here, but it wasn't that one. So maybe it's this one. It's just the. Maybe. No, it's the same thing I just closed. Okay. Uh, this. That's probably well, it. I just want to see if Tim's watching us because we just like. Whoa. Now that's it. Okay. I hope that doesn't cause feedback because it's got. Oh, it's got it's feedback, sounds off. feedback, feedback, feedback. Yeah. Shall we take them on a musical journey for now, though? No, there's the chat. So there's nothing here, but if there was something here, it might not have loaded in. There are two people which watching. Is unfortunate. Oh wow! There's two two people watching. Oh, wow. two whole humans. Whoa. Shall we take them on a magical journey, Mike? Oh, we could. You guys want a little bit of music that I got lined up right now, or you want to talk some more? Let's do some music. Yeah, I'm with her. <laughs> All right. So, this is "Drift" by Astra.
Okay. That was mm-hmm. Drift by Astra. Now, I love this song. I love Tell Actually, the audience. before before you like share your you know your the way you feel yes. your journey that yes. is always so great for us. How did we all feel about that? <laughs> it's not usually the type of music I listen to. Oh, sounds very yeah. prog. It, it is very prog. <laughs> <laughs> what is this prog term? Progressive? Yeah. Yes. The yes. insurance company. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Flow. Flo- like, flow singing. Yeah, progressive rock. <laughs> You know, interesting. That's what yeah. prog is short for mm-hmm. in okay. this case. Mm-hmm. Now, just okay. Everybody in the audience, guess what year this came out? Just in your mind. We'll give you. We'll give you five seconds. Four seconds. Okay. Now, Mike, tell the good people what year this came out. Uh, twenty twelve. The Dark Ages. It, to some, yeah. <laughs> How did this fly under my radar? How is this not... I mean, like, a lot of these things you have to, like, dig for, and it's not always the easiest thing in the world. It's so good, though. But, like, it's it's worth it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's worth it anyway. Now, this, um, this took me... This yes, tell us about your journey. This took me into outer space. And I was on a ship, shaped like a guitar. <laughs> 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 and the entire ship, which was shaped like a guitar, it was made out of 80s synthesizers. Switches and dials, ox ox ports galore. <laughs> <laughs> were, were the ox ports like also the um, like propulsion system or what? <laughs> like the like. Well, that makes more sense now. Jets of rockets just fly out of ox ports. That's like. actually that's actually pretty smart. Yeah, that would be it. <laughs> Sounds like a real crazy dream. Yes. <laughs> That's my. F- that's the thing I do on the show. I tell what people where I went. I believe one of them was <laughs> was in a, a drift in the sea in Fanta Orange. Fanta. Oh yes, and then there was the, uh, the toothpaste. The, the the slide made out of <laughs> what was it like linen? The soft and all linen different colors. <laughs> that was that was one by Pink Floyd. Yeah, that was Interstellar Overdrive that took you there. <laughs> that took me there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very good song. I loved it. Now, do any of you have any good songs, or what music? Kind, what kind of music do you both like? Me personally, I was always a hard rock and heavy metal type guy. Ooh, that meshes well with that meshes well with you. Oh uh, yeah, I I listen to like, um, you know, metally stuff like doom doom metal. It's like you know, doom metal, prog metal, uh, like tech death. You know, stuff that's either like really crunchy and dark and slow, or like you know, kind of complex. Too crunchy. Crunchy, uh, <laughs> not chunky, but crunchy. <laughs> chunky works too. I think mean, Chunky's dead. But yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Okay, I had to get it out. I had my to system. get that in there. Yeah, uh, so the Chunky's dead. You know, okay. and then there's Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> now, Courtney, what kind of music do you like? I like a little bit of everything. Ooh, what was your favorite, almost uh, uh, select area? Like classic rock and country. Mm, that's good. Ooh, country. That's a new one. We haven't had a country fan here in a while. It's been a bit. Yeah. I mean, I'm from the sticks. Oh, sticks. I'm from the sticks. Like. Yeah, but he. Middle he, of nowhere. He oh. heard sticks and thought of the band. Oh, I thought you were talking about the band. Sorry. I mean, that's a good. Group <laughs> too. Renegade's a pretty good song. That's a good song. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they have hmm. they have that as a the theme as the new um, Steel Coaster in Kennywood. Do they? Yeah, it's a uh, Steelers theme, and apparently, like, Renegade's like the theme song because of a wow. video they had on YouTube and I went and actually wrote on it twice in a row. The Ooh. It was the last ride of the night and they're like, if you want to stay on, just stay on and we'll <laughs> let you go again. Oh, wow. nice. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. I think I've only been to Kennywood like once and I was like five. I mean, if they got like a, a ride that has like this, you know, renegade is their theme song, I kind of need to go there. Now. Honestly, yeah. I would dig the it. Only, the only problem... <laughs> Road trip. The only problem is they play like the first like ten seconds, over, and Aww. over, oh, man. and over. <laughs> That's but like the whole song is what Not makes it good. Like like if you could make the the ride the, the duration of the like, entire song, I'd like time, that. Every time they go up the hill, that's like the beginning of the song, and then it, the, the scream is when they fall down. <laughs> the, okay, I can dig that. Yeah. All right, that does make sense. Yeah. I mean, kind of, back on the t- topic, what? 
No one kind of like hope that they played the not. whole song on repeat mm. in the queue. That would have been like. But they should send out the whole cool. ride about it. Like instead of the first ten seconds. I mean, if that's like happening while you're going up the hill, that makes sense. Kind of got the but suspension like, going. If they played the whole song in the queue on repeat, like the line, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm imagining that the, the the ride malfunctioning and it's just constant screaming from that one second at the top. Yeah. <laughs> and when it comes to metal, though, the only type of metal I like is power metal. That isn't true. Wait a minute. Is this, is yeah, there... no, I've showed you other things that you liked. What was it? I can't remember. Well, you, you remember Candlemass? Which band? Candlemass. <laughs> What's the album? Um, it's a Candlemass. <laughs> I think the stuff I showed you was from Epicus Dumas Metallicus. But, uh, <laughs> was it that night we were just hanging out yeah. in the classroom? Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. That's doom metal. Okay, doom metal's not that bad. <laughs> I like I like power metal a lot more, but doom metal is is honestly. What was that once? What was I'm that one sure song you, you showed also me? Also, like prog metal. What was it? Cause sabotage. Area. What's sabotage? Oh, that's 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 prog metal. Okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe I like a lot more than power metal. I just never knew the genre for it. <laughs> There's a lot of different like types of metal out there. I will. I do not like the stuff that's slow and going <laughs> like that. You know. No. Well, I mean, like do metal slow, and some of it is harsh vocals, but it's atypical that it does. But that like if that's like all it is. It's like, eh. Like, Candlemass is one of the faster Doom bands. That's probably why I like it. <laughs> That's probably why I like it. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Arion's a pretty good band. Wait, I band? need to, like, Arion? listen to it's some more It's a prog rock. Prog metal. Ooh. Arion? Arion. A-Y-E-R-O-N. Arion. They have, like, ten-minute oh. songs. They're pretty good. So do we know who uh, is on here at... Oh right, there's an interview at one, I think. And it got cancelled. I don't know. Is somebody coming in here? Like in five minutes? I have no idea. Can we check the list out there? How long are you supposed to stay here for class? He said about an hour, so Oh. So <laughs> um well if somebody comes in here we'll like switch and you'll stay. I'll keep the door slightly yeah, more ajar. Keep the door slightly ajar. It's like I did like have another song prepared, but I don't think there's time for it, just in case. Because it's okay. like <laughs> this one actually is uh, prog metal. I have a little fun game. But it's like seven minutes. I have a little fun tidbit. What are the What are the three songs you can you can sing to by heart? Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> None like <laughs> that is a song. Yeah. Oh, you mean if I say the first word of them, someone will know? No, no, like you can sing all the lyrics to it while listening to it. Tequila. Oh, there's there's a few. Was it my guess, tequila? But I don't. Tequila. <laughs> you can sing the whole song to that. That's pretty good. It has one word. Oh wait a minute. Tequila. <laughs> That's too simple. <laughs> I mean that does count though. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Oh, I gotta I gotta think for that one. <laughs> Mike. Yes. What are the songs you can sing to? I mean, I don't really usually ever sing, but there's there's quite a few. You know all the lyrics too, though, right? There's there's a there's several songs that I know at least most of the lyrics too. Okay, dang, I'm the only one in this. Thing. I used to, <laughs> I used to sing in choir, so I like I had memorized good. the songs, so I know a lot of songs. So. Dang. Yeah. That works. Yeah. I mean, I could probably sing most of the lyrics to the the song "Through Glass" by Stone Sour. I never heard of that song. What is it? it? It's it's a really good song. I recommend looking it up. What genre is it? It's uh, technically it's hard rock, but it's kind of slower. Ooh, okay. Are we? Ooh, I think Mike is looking that up. Mm -hmm. I might, I I might play this for you. Just looking at the time, it's like uh. Well, it's been played before. Yeah, what the hell? We'll go for it. Oh yeah. See if I can find the topic one though, because those are usually uh, better quality. Oh. 
Well, there's an official video, so that that'll probably be good too. So this is uh, uh, "Through Glass" by Stone Sour. Ooh. I'm looking at you through the glass Don't know how much time has passed Oh God, it feels like forever but No one ever tells you that forever feels like home Sitting all alone inside your head How do you feel? That is the question But I forget you don't expect an easy answer when something like a soul becomes initialized And folded up like paper dolls and little notes You can't expect a bit of folks So while you're outside looking in Describing what you see Remember what you're staring at is me Cause I'm looking at you through the glass Don't know how much time has passed All I know is that it feels like forever No one ever tells you that forever feels like home Sitting all alone inside your head How much is real? So much to question An epidemic of the mannequins Contaminating everything we thought came from the heart But never did right from the start Just listen to the noises Before you tell yourself It's just a different scene Remember, it's just different from what you've seen I'm looking at you through the glass Don't know how much time has passed No one knows that it feels like forever No one ever tells you that forever feels like home Sitting all alone inside your head Cause I'm looking at you through the glass Don't know how much time has passed No one knows that it feels like forever no one ever tells you that forever feels like home Sitting all alone inside your head And it's the stars, the stars that shine for you And it's the stars, the stars that light Time is fast. Oh God, it feels like forever. But no one ever tells you that forever feels like home. Sitting all alone inside your head. Cause I'm looking at you through the glass. Don't know how much time has passed. All I know is that it feels like forever. But no one ever tells you that forever feels like home. Sitting all alone inside your head. Liked it. It was pretty good. That yeah. took me to a place. We're gonna have to hear about that place, goat. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a glass cube, and in the middle was a VCR. <laughs> and when I when I played that, all the all the glass walls turned into into screens. And oh, was there a fourth wall? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't break. I couldn't break through it. But um. 
and I get I I was constantly hitting the f rewind and fast forward button. I don't know what time it is. Huh? Hmm. I thought it was pretty good. Very existential. But that's what I got from it. <laughs> I was trapped in the cube. You're trapped in the cube. <laughs> I, I feel it. I yeah. feel it. <laughs> How did you like the song, man? It was all right. It's all right. Yeah. Can't really complain. Can no. dig, can dig to it. Yeah. If some put, you know, if there's somebody plays this, I have no objections at all. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Thank you for the song. No problem. Yeah. Pretty good. Now, what did we talk about? What did we talk about? We need right. I want to just figure out like how much time we actually have. Wait, have either of you seen the new Sonic movie? Mm. No. Sadly, no. Okay. I would say we shouldn't like spoil any of that for the audience. I won't spoil it, but I'll just say it was or not that bad. It was not yeah. that bad. Was Sonic in it? He said it was good earlier. No. No, he, no, no, he was in no it. Sonic. <laughs> there's no Sonic. He, he was strangely <laughs> out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have another question, though. Yes. What about Knuckles? Knuckles was the main character <laughs> <laughs> in the Sonic movie. <laughs> uh, did did uh, in the end did they find a way? <laughs> Do you know the way? <laughs> they found the way. So if you want to know the way, then you just gotta watch the Sonic movie. There you go. <laughs> you brought back that meme from the grave. <laughs> you dug it up, you defiler. <laughs> no, you see, the new meme is dead memes. <laughs> oh, is that the new meme now? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> It'll die in two days, but hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, it was not that bad. Jim Carrey really sold the performance for me. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> Hello, stranger. How are you? <laughs> I'm a little creeped out now. We're like, this is this is the glass cube for us. This is a, there are windows. I mean, our glass room. Oh, that too, yeah. There's a lot of glass cubes. There are a lot of glass cubes around here. Oh, my Ours... The room's more like a prism, because it's rectangular. It's not yeah. a cube. Rectangular this prism? This isn't a cube either. Cubes no. are rare. I didn't realize no. I signed up for a geometry lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Isosceles triangle. Imagine, <laughs> imagine being in a triangle. Parallelogram. <gasps> the forbidden one. <laughs> you mean a diamond? A long diamond? A trapezoid. A rhombus. A rhombus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's going to be our new meme. It's rhombus. Just, it's just a square that got ran over. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. But that's the one that's like, you know, the diamond. That's I the know. rhombus. Isn't that the Sims logo? It's, it's like, yes. Is that, yeah, yeah that's the Sims logo. That's a rhombus, isn't it? Well, it's, it's a diamond. Well, the okay. Sims logo the is also a three dimensional is shape. A that's true. Oh, no, well, no, it's still a rhombus. A rhombus is a shape that has uh, all the sides are parallel and equal in size, and it's not a square. It doesn't right angles. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It would be a rhombus then. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a rhombus. But, like, it's three-dimensional. But then, so it's, like, a three-dimensional shape based off of a rhombus. So it's, like, a rhomboid, like... It's a rhomboid. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the name of that one. Yes. How about a... Uh, Gem. A, a nonagon. A nonagon? Yeah, what's that? I don't know what a nonagon is. There's nine sides. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> what about a dodecahedron? Ooh. A-A-Ron. Mm. <laughs> A-A-Ron. <laughs> How about a hectogram? A hectogram? A heptogram. Heptogram. Yes. Hexagram? Heptogram? No, a hexagram is something else. Hexagram. A um, hexagram is like... I don't think about a gram crackers. Pen pentagram? That's also a thing. Pentagram. Yeah. A heptagram is seven. It's a pentagon. Pentagon is a, a polygon with five sides. Mm. Yes. This is fun. I'm having fun. I'm, I'm staring you down. 
Welcome to the welcome to the land party in the catacombs. By the way, this is the entire show. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Yes. <laughs> oh, what happened to you yesterday? Any of you? What happened yesterday? Um, I got new Jeffrey Star merch. Who Jeff? Who's Jeffrey Star? He's a guy that has makeup. He's a YouTuber. <gasps> I don't know him. Is he cool? He's cool. Is he hip? He has his own makeup line. He co- he's cool and hip, and he has his own makeup line. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. He also he, has hips. He has hips. <laughs> <laughs> he has two of them, actually. He's almost like a she, though. Yes. He has hips. Or yeah. she. H- him and his boyfriend broke up last month. Oh, no. Yeah. Was it hip related? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Of all the questions, <laughs> of all, the, was, was it hip related? <laughs> um, I don't think so. It's just um, him and Nathan were together for a while, but Aww. it's just Nathan really didn't want the spotlight, and then he was became really famous. Oh, he couldn't take the pressure. Kind of. He didn't really want to be in the spotlight to begin with, but yeah. like he dealt with it for a while because of him. That happens quite a bit with people that yeah. become famous. Uh, so it was, it wasn't hip related, but it was related to being hip. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That yeah. is a yeah. great way to put it. <laughs> it was hip related. <laughs> it was being hip related. Andrew, what happened yesterday? Well, just worked on designing some equipment for video, for video shooting. Ooh. It uses ducks. Ducks. Like quack snack kind of ducks? <laughs> Not the way you're thinking, but yeah, kind of. <laughs> or is it like ducks and like air is moving through it? <laughs> no. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> okay. No, it's spelled duck like quack, quack, duck. Quack, quack. A duck and a duct? A it's, duck and a duct. It, there it, we go. It's tra- <laughs> he's trapped. Free him. <laughs> He's stuck. He needs help. What if the duck lives in a duct? I mean, it is kind of <laughs> like that. It's an open duct and it's just kind of a duck in a duct. Yes. With duct tape. With duct. A duck in a duct. Abducted. By duct tape. I should make that into a book title. <laughs> oh my god. Should I do that? For kids? Somebody abducts <laughs> a duck and puts it in a duct. That's no, like a serious sci fi thriller. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like no, I have no it's, idea. It's, I mean, it's, it's framed as a children's book, but it's a serious sci-fi thriller. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I can see it now. <laughs> yes. The main character's name is Duck, and he's in the town named Duct. Does he walk up to a lemonade stand? But what if like he Duck asks for grapes. is not the duck, but <laughs> the abdi- ab- abductor of the the duck, who is the abductee of the abduction? And have to go to court, and settle for a duck. <laughs> oh, at the Lake Humane Society, they have two pigeons Ooh. A- available for available for adoption. Two pigeons. Yeah, they also have a really fat hamster there too. His na- her name is Shakira. <laughs> Shakira. Yeah. That's a good name. For a fat hamster, yeah. Pigeons are kind of big though, aren't they? They're like, yay yeah. tall. Yeah, they're like this big. You need a pretty big cage for that. Uh, Do they make good pets? I don't know. I've never had a pigeon. I would like a pigeon now. Like, I wish I could, like, you know, take care of a pigeon, but, like, current situation, just, nah. just Not like, enough room for it. I mean, no. you, look, you look like a pirate. You could have it on your shoulder and pretend it's a parrot. Pigeon pirate. Oh. That's, like, some kind oh, of... Pirate. Hell yeah. That is, yeah. I would I would like that. That's cool. So, you're going to have one, You're gonna have streaks down your arm, though. Yeah, mm. it's going to be gross. It's going to be It's going to be messy. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. Uh, do you, can you train a pigeon to not do that? I don't know. <laughs> can you train a human to not do that? <laughs> to not yeah, have you, pigeons you, on shoulders? <laughs> no. You can toilet train a human, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, but can you toilet train a pigeon? I don't know. I mean, my one cat we got from the Lake Humane Society was toilet trained. Really? Out, out of the box? No. <laughs> like, wait, it, wait, used, wait. it used the toilet. Oh, so what? we are talking like Jinxie from Meet the Parents, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> toilet trained. I was going to say, like, are we talking about, like, you know, yeah, potty trained? We're talking about toilet, toilet trained, like, like Jinxie. And the yes. Of, like, in the middle of the night, my dad heard something in the like in the bathroom, going to the bathroom, and then he lo- walked over, and the cat just walked out, and there was, like, yellow in the toilet. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> was the toilet like, closed no. beforehand? Okay, so it has to be open. But it, it but oh my like goodness. So but not yeah. not quite Jinxie cuz yeah. Jinxie knew how to flash. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh. How did the cat know not to fall in? I don't know. It's a cat. Cats are like <laughs> agile and stuff, you yeah. know. A cat has like 20 decks. You know this. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, wait what do you say? A cat has like 20 decks. Okay, I thought you said something else. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no. Dex I, I, dexterity. Read that sign. <laughs> You're the only one saying words we can't say today. No, I didn't say that. I was. I thought you, you said, said something. Some, you said something else earlier, though. Yes, a twit. Yes, a twit. <laughs> it, the, the word was totally twit. I th oh, yeah. But it reminds me. <laughs> uh, it reminded me of something when you talk about cats. Hmm. It's uh, You want to know the way to have infinite energy. Eat a cat. No. Wow. No, you don't eat a cat. Oh, that I mean, that like consumes like one of its nine lives right now. It's all nine. Don't Wait, do that. If, if, it, if you eat a cat, does it respawn? That's the question. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. What about an ocelot? This isn't Minecraft. Ocelots are cool. In Minecraft, they don't respawn. <laughs> In Minecraft, they spawn new ones all the time, though. Like, it's true. How about the lag issues from the ocelots in the basement? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. But... My plan for infinite energy is very simple. You only need two components. Well, technically three, but I'll get to that. Do you need a cat? You need a cat. <laughs> and potassium 40. No. That's a different, that's a different thing. Cat nip? No, no. You get a piece of toast. You put some jelly on it. <laughs> what? Now you, I went, okay, four components. You duct taped that <sighs> jelly, jelly toast onto the back of the cat and dropped <laughs> the, the cat. What? <laughs> What? The, the cat will land on its feet always. That's a that's a known law of Newton's fifth law. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, eleventh law. Um, oh my god! No, it should be the, the ninth law. The yeah, ninth, the ninth law. law. Yes. The ninth law of motion: cats always land on their feet. There we go. The the tenth law of motion is that jelly uh, jelly to toast will always land jelly side down. <laughs> so therefore, if you put the two together and drop it. It will just infinitely spin. Infinitely spin until the <laughs> until either the cat falls apart or the toast. So is that how the nine cat came to be? I, I think the nine cat's a pop tart, isn't it? <laughs> or is it a toaster strudel? <laughs> See, I don't know. Like, I think if you like put a rainbow behind a pop tart, it, like, um, you know, can propel infinitely if it does like a cat's face and isn't allowed to land. I don't know. If you put a decapitated cat's head onto a pop tart, <laughs> will it produce rainbows? <laughs> yeah, something like that. And that rainbow is an infinite propellant, and then like we can also another it also source comes of with associated sounds. Yes, I mean that's yeah, that's yeah, one hundred percent. You have to listen to for ten hours. Ten hours, ten hour version. <laughs> I mean, yes, this is another form of infinite energy, but unfortunately, the cat. <laughs> that's a very cursed form of energy, though. The, the cat will always die with the jelly side toast. That's terrible. But mm. it is a small price to pay for infinite energy. No, I don't think uh, so. No, no. Just, just. We would get rid of. Wait, wait, wait. Does a dead cat always land on its feet? I think so. So if the cat's already passed away, then. <laughs> <laughs> I think about this. We could shut down all the power plants. We could just have cat generators. Pollution would go down. Animals would save. Would be saved worldwide. I think the price of a cat. But we could get. But cat. it's not even the price of a cat. It's the price of a cat that passed away of natural causes. We just like. Okay, what if he resourced the cat that died naturally and had yeah. a happy life and mm -hmm. just slapped some jelly toast on it? But, <laughs> I mean, it's a little morbid, but... I would do this for... For infinite energy? I would do this But gladly. it doesn't actually work, unfortunately. What are you talking about? Newton salt made this himself. <laughs> what are you talking Was about, Was this Mike? fig Newton? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you had something to say. What about, like, cat scratch fever? fever? Cat scratch fever? Yeah. This is a known illness. 100% mortality it's, rate. It's not a, yeah, it's not a fun one. It's a 100% mortality rate. They get a fever, and they start dancing, and they won't stop. That's not how it's that actually works, but it's fever. it's pretty bad. Oh, wait, is it actually a fever? Yeah, that's yeah, a real it's disease. Yeah, it's actual thing. Oh, well, that's making stuff up. I mean, and, like, it <laughs> transmits yeah. to people, and it's not mm -hmm. fun. Oh, I didn't all. know this was an actual fever. Yeah. My bad. No. The, the only bad thing oh, is I work... just got serious. The only thing Welcome. is I work at a... I work at a humane society, mm -hmm. and the humane society, and I get scratched a lot by cats because oh. sometimes when they're aggressive, they don't get marked as aggressive, and then I get to find that out. 
Oh dear. First oh, hand. fun. Do you wear gloves? What if you wore gloves? Um, you're supposed to, it, you do, mm-hmm. but then it's just thin. Oh, it's the thin stuff. Yeah, it just so goes it through. Just, yeah. Oh man, that's that sucks. Yeah, like this one. His name's Brody. He was there a couple weeks ago. He wasn't marked red. When they're marked red, that means you don't mess with them. So mm-hmm. he, he wasn't marked red. So I was cleaning his cage, and then he saw another cat, and he spazzed out, and he like attacked me. Mm. And I got like scratches all over. Oh, yeah, that stinks. Yeah. It really stinks. But, they're like, oh, maybe we should put a dot on his cage. I'm like, oh, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he's what does cat scratch fever do to you, though? Um, I don't remember, I don't but know. it's not fun. I imagine, yeah. Makes you sick. Makes you sneeze. Shoo. It has fever in the name, so I guess do the math. I guess so, yeah. Do the math. Let's get my heart rate. There's also, I don't <laughs> know if it's the same disease. I think it was, but, like, the, this cat, like, licked, uh their owner's, like, eye. What? And they, like, what? got an infection, and, like, the eye had to be removed. Oh. And then there was, like, another disease from, like, I think a dog where, like, somebody lost their arms and legs. Rabies? No, it was some really rare, like, thing that shouldn't have passed on, so it was, like, a freak accident. Oh, it was, like, a virus? Because it it's a rare disease for dogs, Oh. and it's even, like, more extremely rare for it to pass on to a person, but, like, mm-hmm. it also, like, I think, I think I read that news story. He never got rid of the dog. I mean, why, why would you? I mean, like, yeah. I mean, a lot of people are rational about these things, but losing your arms and legs? Right, but, I mean, like, the disease would no longer be, like, a thing anymore because it would have passed out of the dog. I know, but a lot of people don't think rationally about that kind of thing. Right. I'm just saying that I'm surprised that they, they kept it cool. There's a lot of, like, weird, wacky, rare, like, diseases out there that are weird. Like, there's this, uh like bacteria that's like in the perfect temperature of water that like if you get it into your brain it like eat your brain but like getting it there is like a freak accident oh it's, it's like not the, something to like think about it's like the perfect storm yeah there's a bunch of stuff where everything lines up right and then really bad stuff happens <laughs> oh you know how but it... these aren't things to be like afraid of because like and also like avoiding oh, yeah. it is really really easy too yeah, you know how people use every part of the cow? Mm-hmm. Even the brain? Mm-hmm. If you eat that brain unproperly cooked, you will, like, pretty much die. Well, that's also, like, if you eat the brain, if you eat the meat of a cow that has been fed the brains of other cows. <laughs> Wait a minute. Because that's, what, that's where <laughs> mad cow disease comes from. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> you, got a, like, you got a cannibalist they've, they've cow? They've done some... So the the cows aren't like choosing to eat like a cow, but like some in the past, it's like oh, the it, there's regulations orders. against this for like obvious reasons. Yeah, but like the meat manufacturers would like feed the cows like parts of the cow that like oh, gosh. were like tossed. Ew. So and that's kind of like totally not okay. Cannibalistic cows. Yeah, like yeah, let's just you know feed an herbivore its own meat. Like, because that seems like a totally ethical thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think the uh, the most exquisite piece of meat I've ever eaten is cow heart. Was it good? It's very tough, and it tastes just like what you'd expect, blood. Mm. Yeah. I'll, I'll pass on the, the weird organs myself. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I like liver, but that's oh, like the chi- part of this. Chicken liver is great. I haven't had chicken liver. I had like deer and Ooh. cow. That's good. I never didn't know you had deer liver. Wow. Yeah, my 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 grandpa my grandparents go hunting, hmm. and they get, then they get deer and then they gut it and then we eat deer for like months. My sister does that. She has a uh, has connections over there with family. Over there was over there. Like Southern Ohio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I say connections, I mean like family members down there. <laughs> over there, over there. Over there, down yonder. In the Deer Valley, Deer Valley. <laughs> Jackson Hole. Um, isn't, but it, isn't it Deer Park? Deer Park. That's a water brand, isn't it? <laughs> it's also an actual park. Is it's, it? It's in Jamestown, Pennsylvania. Whoa. I used to visit there frequently. It's right down, right near where I used to live, and uh-huh. it's like a little petting zoo. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Ah. I've had deer jerky. That stuff's really good. Mm-hmm. Venison is very good. Yeah. 
All right. So I'm going to put a commercial on real quick. Make wait, sure we keep wait, up before we Wait, before we do commercials, let's play tribute to, sh to the ShamWow gods. Oh, boy. ShamWow, ShamWow. Well, it that happens. It cleans everything. Everything? <laughs> everything. Everything. ShamWow. <laughs> it, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, <laughs> doesn't clear, uh, what was his name? I forgot. I'm still on the, uh, the TV over there, and they're watching. His name was, like, what, Vince something? The ShamWow <laughs> guy? I can't remember. Doesn't doesn't clean his criminal record. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't clean his criminal record. You're right. But I'm gonna. I, I forgot I was still connected to the TV in the Just classroom. Just like throw some yeah. shampoo at it. There we I'm go. I'm gonna play the Shamwa commercial over there. <laughs> oh, three, dear. two, one. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's playing over there and right the now. Commercial. Let's see if it's actually playing. Okay, you want to run over there real quick? Are you dreaming of something greater? A college degree? Better job skills? A rewarding career? The Ohio Army National Guard can help you get the education you need to land the career you've always wanted. The Ohio National Guard Scholarship Program could pay 100% of your college tuition at Lakeland Community College. You're eligible for the scholarship as soon as you enlist, and you can attend school while serving right here in Northeast Ohio. Learn more about these great benefits by calling Staff Sergeant Danielle Davis at 440-225-3720 today. Call 440-225-3720 and go guard. <laughs> are we back? We are back. <laughs> oh, we just had some wonderful conversations. About, you know, 12-year-old yeah. memes. Pretty much. Like, Slap chop. Slap chop, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's playing. It's playing? It's playing. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob and Amber, you're just... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna play this lap chop in a bit for that. Play but something like mentally disturbing. I have a lot of those. I mean, she does too. She has like that like fake SpongeBob. <laughs> so show. now we're like broadcasting two different things to two different areas. That's right. Diversification. Just doing <laughs> that now. Imagination. Guys, hold the show up for like 30 seconds while I try to figure out if anyone's on their way. Okay. I don't want there to be any dead air. Okay. Now, what are some memes that you remember from your childhoods? Well, I mean, I'm still in my childhood. I'm still 17. So. You're 17? I thought you were older. No. Okay. Oh, wait, how old are you? 19. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you both look older than you sh than you are. Wait, do you know that tall, like blonde, long hair guy with like the beard and the beard and the mustache that um, goes in that room? He wears like the cowboy hat. I have no idea. Or like the one. Oh, hat. Sebastian. Yeah, he's sixteen. Oh yeah, that guy. Sebastian. I mean, I forgot yeah. about that. He's we, we all know that. He's he's a young he lad. The, I didn't know. Two of us, but like. I thought he was old. I thought he was like way older than me. That might not be a thing to broadcast though. Like, oh. Mm. Here yeah. is here is Sebastian's social security number. Beep 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 <laughs> beep beep. beep. God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're being defined over there. His address is. I don't know. His address is one two three four Dreary Lane. Wah wah. <laughs> He's be, are you doing the pe the peanuts m parent voices. I'm apparently an adult now. <laughs> what if we had a whole show like that? Just one episode like that. <laughs> I, I think that might be excessive for a whole show, but it sounds right up a rally. Unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe we'll just find ourselves in the <laughs> wah, wah, wah void. <laughs> that void. <laughs> <laughs> what are you playing over there now? Can I say it? Uh, is it the same thing that we were talking about earlier? Or is it new? It starts with I don't know if you could say it. Nuts. Oh, you mean the slap chop? Slap chop. Yeah. I wanted to say the other thing, though. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, it's it's the context. It is the context. He did context. say that in the commercial, in the context of chopping nuts. <laughs> chopping nuts. Slap my nuts. The like that. It's walnuts. Almonds. Wait, wasn't that Pecans. in the Jacksepticeye funny some videos? It's also, you're going to love Elderly. my nuts. <laughs> 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 but, like, it's the, the, the chopped nuts. You he know? had fun making that commercial. Too much fun. 
Too much funny. He got in, he got in trouble. Yeah, like, and fa- no, that's not what he got in trouble for. I like to imagine that's what he got in trouble for. <laughs> oh, he had a bit too much fun, but not for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was, he was, no, I can't say it. This is too naughty. <laughs> now, do you ever, do you ever, wait, okay, so you're so-and-so age and so-and-so age. Do you remember watching Cartoon Network at all? Yes. Yep. Who's your favorite show? Who's your favorite show? Yeah, what's, what's your, your favorite what's show? What's your favorite show? Who's on first? Mm. Oh, sorry. Um, did I say who's? <laughs> sorry. I had a brain fart. So my favorite show is what? <laughs> I don't know. That's the title. My favorite show is what? Tomorrow. <laughs> That's my favorite Today. show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What's, okay, what, what is your favorite show from? I mean, I used to watch Chowder. Chowder is a, was a great show. Yeah, like, whenever I, like, hear the word chowder, I just think that show. I mean, it was a little mentally disturbing, but, like, all Cartoon Network <laughs> shows are a little <laughs> mentally disturbing. It's a little bit, yeah. How the food was alive and you were effectively cooking it. Mm-hmm. How about yes. Tom and Jerry? I, I love Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry? The old stuff? Yeah. From the 1960s? Yeah. Ooh. That's some good old slapstick right there. <laughs> then there were the shows that you still wonder how they were ever on television. Like Ren and Stimpy? Or Johnny Bravo. Oh, yeah. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> he could be a vi- he could, he could be violent. Johnny Bravo is a great role model, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> a, gr- a grown man having normal conversations with very tiny children. <laughs> oh, no, that was like the tamest of all. <laughs> oh, of yeah. Yeah, no, his no, relationship yeah. with, what was her name, Susie? Yeah. That was, that was actually tame. totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, mama. Mm. <laughs> Does anyone remember Fish Hooks? I don't know Fish Hooks. It was on no. Disney Channel. I don't oh, remember. Oh, no, I remember that. It no. was like there's there's fr- three fish. One had an afro, one had red hair. I remember that show now. I, I didn't like it. I didn't what? like it either. It like, was bad. What about Dave the Barbarian? <laughs> Wait, I've never, I never watched that actually. Oh my god, I'm old. I saw the meme Dave where... Dave the Barbarian is great. I saw the meme where he made a megaphone. From a squirrel, rope, and a megaphone. That happened. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that meme, but that's about it for my experience from Dave the Barbarian. Do you guys watch, remember watching Courage the Cowardly Dog? Yes. Yep. Loved Courage. Yes, that was my favorite show. Courage is great. It meant mm-hmm. it disturbed me in so many ways, and mm-hmm. that's how I'm here today. How about the was original? It, wasn't his house in the middle of nowhere? Yes. Yeah. It was the actual county, I think. Yeah, that was the, the actual place. Was it the nowhere? county? I mean, it has to be the county. It can't be a town. Yeah, it was. It was called nowhere. It was just called nowhere. Just I nowhere. I don't know what like kind of municipality it was, but it was. Called Let's nowhere. get into the laws about this. Is it a county or a town? Or I, I don't think there are any. It's or just nowhere. a zone. I mean, nowhere is a name. I mean, nowhere is nowhere, but is but it? But like, where is it relative to somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> it's relative to somewhere. I mean, they, I don't know where it is relative to somewhere. I think it's a town because they have their own newspaper, Nowhere News. Oh, that's true. That was a thing. I don't yeah. know like where those other people live in nowhere. But wait, there was a nowhere in the Obviously town. Obviously nowhere. It must be a county. Okay. The county. Probably. Of no- and then like all the surrounding counties are somewhere. A county or a region or something. Yeah. A, uh, what is it? Non-incorporated statistical area. <laughs> 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 now my parents let me watch Courage the Coward Dog for some godforsaken reason. Um, but they wouldn't let me watch Samurai Jack. <laughs> That's okay. But I snuck up past midnight or past ten o'clock, and my when my parents weren't watching, what I was my every move. I mean, like I don't understand why you weren't allowed to watch Samurai Jack. To be honest, he had a sword. He cut things. Ah, he had a sword and cut things. That was too dangerous for my feeble mind. Apparently. Says my but parents. But you were allowed to watch Courage to Cover the <laughs> Where they did more than cut things. Yes. <laughs> they psychologically made KB trauma. <laughs> that was a great show. I there cannot praise it enough. traumatizing cutting of hair that you've ever had. Dude, Freaky Fred. Yeah. <laughs> Freaky Fred. Did anyone watch PBS Kids? PBS Kids? I remember, yeah. I think so. They had the little characters that were green. So wait, so do we all know about like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know about Here's How here then? The show that, like, if you look it up on the internet, you can't find. There's, like, one source that says this was a Canadian show from I think like, the you 80s. Were, I think you were the only watcher. It's, it, it's, like, still on, though. Or it was, like, two or three years ago, it was still on, like, it's, at, like, 11 o'clock on, like, PBS. It's lost media. 11 in the morning. Do you have recordings of it? 
No, but it, it might still be aired on PBS. But the internet's <laughs> like, what's that? Here's oh, how? it's like this Canadian show that existed, and they don't really like. There's like this, like there's like this much text. <laughs> it's like four lines of. of <laughs> Here it is. It's from Canada, and it told you how things were made. Oh. It's like cool, and there was a mouse and a balloon, and that's all it says. It's like okay, so. <laughs> I mean, that's what it was. That's pretty much yeah. all it needs to be said. But like, oh, yeah. you'd think that it's like who made it or what? No, it's just like Mickey Mouse. No, it's a, a, an actual mouse mouse that, like, uh-huh. was in a, you know, little mouse, like, Mickey with mouse. a bunch of wood chips. Oh. No, like, like a, a oh. real mouse. Oh, oh was a real mouse. like, Bear in the Big big Blue House? No, no, no. It was it was called Here's How, and there was, like, <laughs> there, there was a real mouse, like, with a mouse wheel and, like, oh, yeah, wood it would, chips. It would, crawl, it would crawl places, right? And it no, would, like, it would just be the there, stop. and, well, there was a, an it animated balloon there. that would talk, and the mouse would, like, talk to it. <laughs> an and then animated balloon? F- <laughs> yes, and then you... And then, because someone would voice act the mouse, and then there'd be like a, a factory that like would produce something like uh, it's just a bread f- or whatever. Is this a it dream was. you had? It no, it was a real Are show. You sure, it's real. It was a real show that I watched as a child, and then later on, as like you know, were you it, on something? No, I was absolutely not. No, I'm not. All right, Mike. I have. I brought Doctor Bomb. He's going to talk to you about things. I, 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 look. <laughs> It never the internet, existed. The internet is aware of its existence, but only barely. It, it doesn't. And it's like maybe it's a it's a mental construct. It never existed, Mike. It's this an obscure a, Canadian television show that was on PBS. Your childhood still is alive. probably is on PBS. It doesn't exist, Mike. Doctor Bob will tell you how. <laughs> Hello. It, it was aired for years <laughs> and years. Like the second time that I was watching it, because I was just like you know having PBS nostalgia. It's like mm-hmm. wow, here's how it's still being aired. Holy crap, and. <laughs> 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 Speaking of obscure media, okay. Do you ever any of you watch Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? I love Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. He made. I used. To, I watched a couple episodes, but Ooh. my mom used to watch it because he was that old. But my mom. It was. It was around <laughs> when my mom was young. Oh yeah, he's. I he's remember old when school. new Mr. Rogers was still coming out. I don't, unfortunately. I was not part of that era, but I wish I was. But and then I remember when he retired. And it was way, way too short a time before he passed away. Oh, yeah. That, he he mm. went up to it right was before. Like, he, he kept on working until right before. He had such a healthy lifestyle, too. He did. And he before, swam every day. I think it was pancreatic cancer. Cancer sucks. It does. Mm. Took away Fred Rogers. How could it? Yeah. Like. We, um. But during the Cold War. Oh no, Mr. Fred Rogers! I know you love bringing this one up. <laughs> it's been a while. Fred Rogers made a four-episode um, series of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood Some talking very about special episodes, talking about war, are. and it got banned. Oh. Of course, <laughs> it was nothing wrong with the episode, just the topic, the the material. That well, was more like they just didn't need to be shown anymore. Right. Well, there's Still. a product of the times, but. Just in case, he didn't want children to... need to be informed. He was trying to like tell them in like the least like horrifying way possible. Pretty much, as mu- as so that as... something else wouldn't happen. He made still, like, Fred Rogers made a dark <laughs> moment in history. Oh, I know. The entire plot was that um, Imagination Land went to war <laughs> over resources. Now that's an interesting perspective. <laughs> well, yeah. The king. I mean, him. isn't that what usually happens? But like in the Imagination Land, like, what was the one character that made stuff and had a shop? Can you remember? I mean, like. Okay, there was this. One. I remember all their faces, but I don't remember. It had a long nose. Which one of them made long stuff? Nose. Long nose. Is that Lady Elaine? No. Um. Oh, no, wait. No, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I don't remember. But this guy, this shopkeeper, I'm going to call him, was making stuff for Westville, was it? I think. West something, and he was making, like, like, like what you would imagine would be the tip of a missile. Pretty much. And, it's like, and the king was like, well, why do they need all those? Well, we need those now, just in case. And then they started producing more and more of that, and eventually they went to war. <laughs> So what they were doing was, they were, uh, it was like mad. Yeah. But in, uh. Pretty much. And now what, for those of us who don't know, why don't you tell us what mad stands for? Oh, wait a minute. I don't actually know. Mutually assured, assured destruction. destruction. 
Oh, okay. I don't. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. And I'm done talking about obscure Mr. Rogers episodes that somehow surfaced. Who remembers the comfy couch? <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the I, I went to the library, and I got a VHS of the big comfy couch, and it was the weirdest show in existence. <laughs> I don't know how okay, I. Okay, it 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 was pretty weird. I don't know how I came out how about, sane. How about the clock scene, that happened like every episode? <laughs> that was weird. Okay, for both of you, I'm pretty sure you don't know what that show is. Heard of it? You've heard of it. I've heard of it, but I don't remember much from it. Okay, it was um. Everyone, everyone was a clown. That sounds familiar. Okay. The, 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 she, and this one girl had a doll, and she had a big comfy couch, and they talked about stuff. Stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And the neighbor was a nice old lady who was also a clown. The mailman was a clown. Yeah. Everyone was a clown. But they weren't like, <laughs> they weren't like, you know, super scary clowns. Oh no, they were. They nice. weren't scary clowns at all. But like, you know, like some clowns are still scary to kids. Like. Yeah. These were very, like, I guess, more tame clowns. If anything, as it, clowns go, I would it, say. If anything, it took the scare away from clowns for f when you grew up. You know much. what? Yeah, actually. It took away that fear. It, it was a very, like, good show for, like, combating the fear of clowns in a way. <laughs> <laughs> now, Andrew, what shows have you grown up with? I guess I like the usual shows like Spongebob, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Ed, Ed, and... My Ed, best, Ed, and Eddie. My, my best friend, Plank. Are we going to have to play that again? If only if you want to. Oh, that's up to you. <laughs> Do you guys want to experience my best friend, Plank? Do you remember it? I remember it. <laughs> Do you remember the music video? Yeah, I remember <gasps> He does! <laughs> yeah. Should we? Should we do it? We're putting this up to you. Oh. I can't make the decision for everyone. Come on. Oh no, we, we're 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 deferring. Yeah. Should we do it? Do we play my best friend blank? We're putting you on the spot. You got five seconds. Okay, do it. <laughs> All right. My best friend. I'm plank. gonna go fetch my best friend plank. This got more budget than it probably should have, but I'm grateful it did get out the budget budget it did. The animation for it was pretty good for the time. Is that it? Yes. Oh, joy. <laughs> all right. So here it is. Time for, like, you know, all the nostalgia for whoever was around at this time. <laughs> it is my best friend, Plank, by, um, like, from what we can tell, Streaming Awake. I think, but, like, I think it is. It's ambiguous when we look it up, but it's a Cartoon Network special. So who, maybe it is credits are titled. Uh, like credits it might on just there. be like uh, some people who worked at Cartoon Network. I'm not exactly sure. It's um, it's pretty hard to tell. The, how but this got here made? It is, how my this, best friend Plank. How this got made was a mystery. I'm never bored when I'm with you. Pals were buddies through and through Wish I knew what to buy for you on your birthday Our friendship goes against the grain I've seen you swell up in the rain I saw you didn't see your pain Was it termites? It's never hard to talk to you Though you stomp me with your silence I feel so naughty pining here For your happy face's guidance My best friend Plank My best friend Plank My best friend Plank Sitting there so silently What could you be thinking? You're not saying I won't ask Is that sealant that you're drinking? Man, your hammer nailed you, pal. Our poor wife's name is Tipper. I knew we'd be best friends for life when I saved you from that chipper. My best friend, Plank. My best friend, Plank. My best friend, Plank. Ooh, Plank. Count the rings, count the rings. Count the rings. I 
I'll walk you on the seven seas The sawdust always makes me wheeze I met your mom and dad the trees But please don't get Dutch elm disease My best friend Plank My best friend Plank My best friend Plank You're my best friend Oh, we have a guest in here. Say hello. Ah! Oh, jeez. Don't, 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 don't. The mics were on. Air. Like, air. Don't do that again. Please. Yeah. Scream softly. Oh, jeez. There we go. That was horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We're sorry for your lunches. <laughs> <laughs> if you spat out anything in your lunch, we, we will not reimburse you. I'm sorry. We, we just don't have the funds for that. I yes. knew it was you, Ben. You, I messaged you. You messaged? Oh, you did? Yeah. Stop. We're on the air, too. <laughs> I can't say that on the air. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Anyways, welcome. You're Who, fired. Who's all in yeah. Yes, thank you. Um, me, Jacob, uh, Billy, and uh, Jeff. Did Barry ever show up? No. I'm worried. My best but friend blank. He missed his class. No! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. ASMR hour. I oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We started it. It's too late. Are you going to like this? Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? It's ASMR hour. Hi! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Let me ASMR. In. Hey Mike, this is ASMR Ew. hour. I have invaded. What? <laughs> what are you, Mario? Oh no. What did you say? We can almost say that whole thing, but not quite, because it's a little, it involves an act that can't be described. My Mario? <laughs> But the collective words are all fine. <laughs> I remember when chocolate was first invented. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. How dare. <laughs> How dare you. I mean, like... I just had chocolate. Personally, I think chocolate is best dark. Yes, <laughs> I have to agree. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. That that semi sweet deliciousness of dark chocolate. It's got the perfect amount of bitterness. Mm. You look like you don't want to be here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Okay. You good? Yeah. I'll I'll eat like unsweetened chocolate too. Ooh. What? Up until I was fifteen, I hated chocolate, any kind. Chucky. Then you found dark chocolate. No, no, even dark chocolate. <gasps> but my taste buds changed. Oh. But then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> yes. So, like, <laughs> you really changed your taste buds for the better. It did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the Fire Nation, I ordered a $40 worth of stickers, and uh, Avatar The Last Airbender was one of them. How many what? stickers do you get for $40? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I think about 30 30 stickers. Just thir that's like over a dollar a sticker. That are they sounds scra pretty bad. Are they scratch and sniff Snickers? Uh, stickers? They're, they're personalized uh, Snickers. glossy <laughs> stickers. Uh, they, they, do they smell uh, like So they were like custom to you that you ordered? Oh, yeah. Are they for your Okay, that's flask? cool then. Uh, if they're no, they're for oh, my uh, my mini fridge. Do, are, if they're scratch and a mini fridge? Yeah, it's red. Dude, that is, that is sick. I, I, keep, I keep ice cream and pop in it. Can you put a fender like on the back the, of it? Does the, does <laughs> the ice cream not melt? Am I like the only person yeah. who says sick anymore? Who says sick? Yeah. Here. I, that's sick, man. I keep like thinking like, I'm just thinking now, have I heard anybody else say sick in like the last 10 years? That's pretty <laughs> sick, man. Mike, if you want to see uh, all the stickers that I got, uh, I, could sh I could show you. If they're scratch and sniff, can, do they smell like ass? Oh, there we go. I'm sure we can say don't. that. You can say that <laughs> every five seconds. You can also do what you just did. Burp into the uh, mic. Yeah, burp into the. I would not recommend it. Oh no, actually, 
<laughs> I think I triggered do, him. Do I want? No. Do I want to gross everyone out here, or not? Um, I mean, that, we're do gonna you like, like your sanity? We're, we're gonna, you know. Do you want to cherish your sanity? Sanity is negotiable. <laughs> okay. Recommended that, like, you know, you chew and swallow and don't put new food in your mouth <laughs> in the next twenty seconds. And we're gonna count down on, you know, just look at here. Okay, we're gonna count down. So at, at yeah, one forty nine ten, you can go ahead and. Uh, at one forty nine ten. Yeah. All right. Well, wait till then. Warning again, like <laughs> intense burping noises incoming. <laughs> Thirty-two stickers, to be exact. Nice. I just counted. Thirty-two customized All right, here we go. stickers. <laughs> I, I think that's enough. That's enough. You're done. It's I time keep on going. to stop. <laughs> it's not time to stop. <laughs> it's not time to stop. <laughs> you sure about that? Was that was the worst ben, thing we're gonna do ben, today. Ben, yes. Do you want to see my stickers? Sure. Okay. Show me the stickies. <laughs> Sticky icky. Okay. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh. oh. <gasps> it's a Sims 4 plum It's a rhombus. No, it's a plum bob. <laughs> it's a plum bob. <laughs> a rum bob. <laughs> rum bob. And, and, and this is uh, from one of my favorite YouTubers. There's CL from Black Butler. There's the... the <laughs> hap, 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 I got the dog of wisdom. I didn't know they made stickers. Joe is great. It's called Red Bubble. You should try it out. Red Bubble. Okay, Ben. How many different kinds of quadrilateral can you name? Quadrilateral? Yeah. I got uh, rhombus? <laughs> yes. Trapehedron? Trapawatadron? No, it's a trapezoid. <laughs> Dodecahedron? No, that's what? not a quadrilateral. Uh, Isosceles triangle? No, that's a triangle, not a quadrilateral. A cylinder? <laughs> no. <laughs> square. That is it. Yes, a square is one. Triangle. No. <laughs> Parallelogram. Yes. Fax machine. What? <laughs> <laughs> Donut. No. no. That's the opposite. Pyramids no. of Giza. No. The, the Pyramids are a cool shape, though. The Illuminati. Is that a... Oh, Gold. No. Interesting fact. No. The tra the pyramid on the dollar bill is named Kahufu. Kahufu? Kahufu. That's a random fact of the day. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Like, so wait, is that what Kafefe actually means? <laughs> Kahufu. Is are they like related to Cthulhu? Like are they brothers? <laughs> wait, is no. it Kafufu or Kahufu? Kahufu. Okay, K so K H U F U. Kahufu. Kahufu. That's who's buried there. That's whose tomb it is. Oh, Kahufu? Or maybe ka Kahufu is related to Zabumafu. <laughs> Zabumafu. Well, who remembers that? I remember that. That was a good show. So, like, Zabumafu was a really good show, but, like... They have a new cartoon. Yes. It's, I, I it's preferred, bad. like... I, I, I haven't seen the new one. It's not good. Oh, that's sad. Because, like, I, I remember the, the first Crap Brothers show. You know how they were all live action? So when the Boomafu came out, like I liked it, but I I kind of missed the, their first show. It also like kind of uh, looked terrifying. In the cartoon? No, the live action. Okay, no, they're not. they're pretty, they're pretty sick dudes. How, pretty how rad. Old are the Crap Brothers now? Like yeah, they're yeah. ancient. They're like one hundred. That's sad. Because like that was my childhood, man. Free her. One hundred forty-four yeah. years old. They are both of them. Oh, combined. They're, I'm pretty her. sure they're not that old combined, even. They, they can't be that old. They're like 70 Bye. each. <laughs> no way. Bye. Bye. Thank uh, you for joining us, Cor Thank Bye. They're both like 70. They're like, have a brick layer of makeup. A brick? <laughs> a brick. <laughs> like a clown? No, like the width of a brick. So it's like, uh... <laughs> You worry me. <laughs> a bricklayer. I, I, I used to know what it was called, but I don't remember now. But it's a special kind of like... Somebody once told me... I just I watched know. Shrek recently. That was not bad. So uh, while we were in the room, uh, we were watching a video. Every time a Shrek takes a step, it gets 5% faster. <laughs> I love oh, those videos. No. For a while, it was normal. But mm -hmm. they did the entire movie. And at, it, it just... It, it got... 
weird. Like you... Every time they say B in the B movie, the B movie starts over. And every t- <laughs> I remember this. No. And, and every time they say B in the secondary version of the B movie, some random recurrence happens. Like, insert funny thing here. And there were different versions of that. Oh, and it was... <laughs> I remember that. I remember that video. The, the hours long it was. <laughs> it went above trillion. Long. It went above trillion. Wait, Joker, but it's Goofy and Winnie the Pooh. Oh, geez. what are oh, they no. watching in there? Wait, what? No. <laughs> I don't. I oh, oh, that one. Oh God. <laughs> A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. Okay, somebody posted their entire liked videos queue because it's 686 videos in the queue. So, no, every time they say B in the B movie, the B movie starts over. But every time you say say B in one of those versions of the B movie, then what happens is you end up watching, like, um, uh, Star Wars. But every time they say the Force, and there's all, all nine episodes of Star Wars, every time they say the Force, like... Um, what what happens then? You watch the Terminator. There. <laughs> Every time they say the Force, uh, Darth Vader kills uh, a youngling. Or every time they say the Force, <laughs> Star Wars starts over. You mean Anakin? There we go. I've just. Oh, it's same thing. They're the same person. I know, but the iteration of that was Anakin. Ben. I think. I mean, yeah. Every time right. they say the Force, Star Wars starts over. And then every second iteration, the movie starts over. Well, no, it just 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 once, but okay. like they have to do it every time that force is used until they get to the next one. But then, like, <laughs> we have to watch the whole thing and then go for the the first iteration. Yeah, and then then we get back to the B movie. <laughs> oh, hey guys! We get back to the B movie. Wait, I have an idea. Until have... they say B again, and then you know. Like, Until I have an idea. That, how long would that take up? Oh, I got the B movie, <laughs> but every single frame. If there's yellow in the picture, oh, it, mo- no. it starts over. Oh, no. Hey, guys. <laughs> do you guys want to uh, continue on and uh, interview the Humane Society in five minutes? Um, Maybe. I don't know. Actually, I have stuff I should be taking care of. <gasps> You're being responsible? <gasps> yeah. Whoa. I'm so proud. Proud. Good. Because we were just like continuing on because he needs to be here. Yeah. And there isn't somebody here now. Daughter. Oh, we, f- How we are finished you? the hour already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, then we can, yes. like, uh... Oh, yes. Emery's my daughter. I guess we could wrap this one up and put on a commercial and then, <laughs> da, da, you know... Da, da, da. So this is the end? Da. I guess. Wait, yeah, this, so is gonna... this is a commercial. We have to pay tribute to the ShamWow gods. Oh, jeez. Here it comes again. ShamWow. We gotta, you know, go with the, the ShamWows. I knew it was you. They gotta like my nuts. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Slam chop. Saw that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put that in there, and then we are going to um, we're gonna end out this show. All right. This has been an extended episode of Land Party in the Catacombs. It was very nice. Yeah, it's fun times. Good, good. A plus, ten out of ten. So we'll see you all next week. It was scary, Uwu. And yeah, there's some cool interview coming Prepa- up. Oh, so. prepare for some Jackson Hole next time. Oh yes. Or Jackson's Hole. Homest. You'll see. Wyoming. Join us. I'm scared. You should be. All right. <laughs> this is uh, Len Party in the Catacombs. Oh, oh wow. Oh, and one, off. And one, so good. Can you cut off with what I'm about to say? Sure. I'm going to look directly at the camera. We're not sorry.